That's a big magic box you've got there. Well, thank you. Say hello to the d Knight Big Magic Box Wireless Speaker. I've looked at an awful lot of Bluetooth speakers. What's one more? If I remember correctly, the specs on this were very impressive. Here it is over on Amazon in case you're curious. It runs about 60 bucks. It's a 20 watt speaker, meaning it has two 10 watt drivers inside of it. Advanced bass enhancement. Bluetooth 4.0, 12 hours of battery life with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's take a look. Unsheathed. There's the speaker, the Big Magic Box Quick Startup Manual, decently short three and a half millimeter cable, and actually about an 18 inch flat USB cable, micro USB. And then you have the speaker. And hopefully you're able to see that appropriately. It's a very dark black on a very white backdrop. But just from looking at the top here, we have the call button, plus minus, so volume plus and minus, play pause, back and forward. On the end, you have a ginormous power button, which presumably has plugs under, yeah. So this is actually a little teeny tiny power button underneath it. Three and a half mil jack, USB jack, reset button, just in case you need that. Nothing on the other end, nothing on the bottom. d Knight branding here at the bottom of the front. I'll get a little closer so you can see that a little better. And actually just to go over the buttons again, that's what they look like. They're rubberized buttons, metal outside. Yeah, that's definitely metal with plastic caps on the ends. Very nice design though, I'm a fan. Let's go ahead and power it on, hook it up to a phone, see how it sounds. Well, I held the button for a while and it did not go into Bluetooth pairing mode. I can only assume it's in pairing mode by default. And I do see big magic box here, so let's go ahead and pair to that. And it says we're connected. Let's see what it sounds like. Actually, the one thing I do immediately notice about that, it does still have a little bit of hiss that I've noticed with a lot of them, but it's much less noticeable. Meaning when you stop playing something on Bluetooth, it gives it a couple of seconds there before it turns itself off. But the hiss is much, much less noticeable than any other one I've used. That's awesome. This little thing packs some sound. Look at that. Let's try something a little calmer, a little quieter. This is the C major prelude from Bach in the YouTube library. Good sound quality. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It sounds like when it gets to the bassiness, it gets really, really loud. It might buzz just a little bit, so I'm gonna have to check that again. But it puts out a lot of sound for something this size. And it's good sound. I mean, it sounds good to me. I'm not an audiophile. any buzzing though. Again, YouTube audio library party house. I saw that in a Marco Plyer video a while back. <laughs> Yeah, I am rocking out to this thing. Let us check it out with the three and a half mil cable. And I'm using the HTC 10 with this, so it's gonna be a little bit of an unfair comparison, but we gotta try it. All right, it said Bluetooth device disconnected. And the buttons don't appear to do anything now. It's all controlled from the phone. Still gets very loud though. The HTC boom sound with Dolby Audio and the HTC 10 makes a massive difference. I'll just give you a little quick sample here. This is on, that's off. Same volume level, same everything. Off, on. Just massive difference. Yeah, about the same difference in terms of using the three and a half mil versus not, except with the HTC 10, you do get that built-in DAC, you do get the additional software stuff, the HTC Dolby Audio boom sound. Even without it, it still sounds very good and gets very loud, but there's just so much more depth to it with the boom sound on. I'm a big fan. 
of both parts. But anyway, keeping this sort of short, sweet, and to the point, again, I don't normally test the microphone on these things because I just can't really see myself making calls using it. Sorry about that. But as far as sound quality and using this as an everyday type device, I'm gonna say I'm a huge fan. At 60 bucks, this seems like an absolute win, to steal a phrase from Flossie Carter there. Been watching a lot of his videos lately. The buttons are nice, they're very clicky, the sound quality is excellent, and there's a lot of it. If you're in the market for a Bluetooth speaker, this is definitely one of the ones you should be looking at. Links to where you can find this will be available down in the description. Remember, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below. If you're curious about any of the songs I used, they're from the YouTube audio library, every single one of them. Remember though, to subscribe to my channel if you want to receive more of my videos when they become available, and we will see you again next time.